everyone. Welcome to the next episode of The Well. Um, today on The Well, I'm going to be talking about a topic that feels quite fitting right now. It is gratitude. The reason I'm diving into this topic is because I wanted to extend gratitude to all of you. We just recently came out with a brand new product at Lovewell. It is called Life. And the response to it so far has been completely overwhelming. I think it's always a vulnerable thing as a company to explore new territory. Um, we are shifting gears. We're still nurturing our blends and we have more blends coming out and we're expanding that range, which is really exciting, but we're also dipping our toe in this other area too. And, and that's beauty and we have creams coming out. We have all sorts of goodies. I won't give too much away, but um, this is Life is our new product and we, uh, we launched it just last week and it's been unbelievable to see how you guys have reacted to what we're bringing out. And um, we've been getting tagged in posts and we're reading reviews and our orders, I've never seen anything like it. We, every day, I think as a small business, there's just something so joy filled when you look at your Shopify and you see ding, 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 and you see orders flying through. And um, it's just been, a really exciting week at Lovewell. I think, you know, I really have to um, pat two members on the on the back. Um, Kate Clark, my co-director, who came up with this idea for life, and uh, Cassandra Kerr, who is her right hand woman, um, logistics queen. She's really helped to facilitate this and and, and get this new product going. So. I think it's just an interesting thing when you work at a company, you want to make sure that the new products that you bring out are on point. They are going to be game changers. And for us, we're very, very selective. It's a stringent selection process. When we come up with a new idea, we take it to the team. We always use the team as our little guinea pigs. We say, did you like it? What, tell me your results. Is it working for you? And so we have this beautiful, small Love World team who are like our mirrors. They tell us whether or not things are working. And when the idea of life came about, um, Kate Clark, my business partner, just said, this is needed. This is needed and it's simple. It's so easy. Not only is it hydrating, it boosts your metabolism. It's beautifying. It, it reaches you on a cellular level. It's potent, it's bioavailable, all these wonderful things. And for me, I think it got me at brain food because I'm known in my friendship group as someone who has a really, really, really forgetful memory. Um, I was talking about it at lunch the other day and my manager was like, it's because you pack so much into your life and you're traveling and you're always busy. And I was like, but really, I need to figure out a way to be so present in everything that I'm doing that I'm helping my memory, that I'm helping to um, really like keep things with me because so often someone will bring something up from the past and it'll just be blank. I won't remember at all what they're talking about. So when the samples started coming in for life, we started trying them and after about two weeks of having it consistently every day, so I have it three times a day, and that's the dosage you can have after three times a day. I would have it, and after about two weeks, I said to Mark, I was like, I feel sharper, my skin feels amazing, it's glowing, I have energy. And it was at that point that we took it to the group and everyone was reflecting back those same results. It was just such a significant change that we were all feeling that we knew it was a no-brainer all right this is going into production we're making it happen so it's something we've been working on for a long time um, the research and development period was really exciting and you know I think when you feel like you have something that's really going to affect change as a business there's no greater feeling because 
the intention of having a business or a conscious business is to help people, to make people's lives better. And so when this came out and the response has been what it has been and seeing the orders and everything's just flying off our shelves, literally we've already had to put in a whole other run. We were like, what? This is insane. We just released it and we're already ordering another run of it. And it's, um, it's just heartwarming and it's reaffirming and it just it's just all that hard work is worth it so that's why i wanted to say thank you to all of you because without your enthusiasm and your commitment and and also being willing to try something new from love well um, without all of those wonderful things and being embraced like that um we wouldn't be able to to get creative and explore other directions as well. So thank you so much. And I'm just so grateful that it's making an impact on you. Um, it just fills us up. So thank you. Uh, all right, so gratitude. Um, it is a really, really important part of life. It's um, something that I try and lead with every day. I think three of the things that I constantly say and, and I try and model this in my parenting and talk to the kids about this too, is how do you lead your life daily with love, compassion, and gratitude? They are the three most important pillars in our family. Um, compassion, that's where the understanding comes in, seeing each other. Um, but gratitude, really truly taking a look at the things around us and being so thankful for the many blessings that we have because Gratitude comes in so many different forms. And I think that every experience that we have in our life is an advancement. It's a way to evolve. Um, even the hard stuff, even the challenging things, we are still advancing, we are growing, we are getting closer to ourselves. And sometimes when you have to navigate all the challenges and, and the dark feelings and the heaviness, it's where the little gifts are and it's where you have, you're given such an opportunity for growth. So I try to practice being grateful for the challenges. Last year I had a particularly challenging couple of months and it felt a bit relentless. Like I would overcome a hurdle and then whew, another one would smack me in the face. And look, I'm not alone and my issues um, in, in retrospect they were um, so small compared to what other people have to navigate. But still, it's relative. It was hard for me in those moments. Also trying to do mum life, work, be a partner, show up as a friend, um, and then navigate these certain challenges. So I started this practice of having my gratitude journal and just writing in it, spending my night time I always, I talk about how I love folding in a nighttime ritual. So I love having a bath and I love listening to a podcast, getting into bed and really sitting and like nurturing my dream. That's something I do every night and that's my uninterrupted me time. So once I've done that or in the process of sipping my dream, depending on the night, um, I'll write my gratitude journal. So instead of calling in more things that I want for my life. I already have an intention. I already know the things that I'm trying to call in. This practice is purely about giving thanks. Thank you for my health. Thank you for the day. Thank you for these feet that carried me. Uh, thank you for the clothes. Thank you for the roof over my head. Thank you for my mum. Thank you for my friends, My the deep conversation I had that day. And you can get really, really specific. Find, I try and write as much as I can. And I think when you are able to really take a personal inventory and see all the many things that you are grateful for, it, we do become desensitized. Like we really do become desensitized to what's around us. And sometimes the bigger, heavier stuff or the more negative feelings take a hold of us and we can run away with them. And so, for me, like finding gratitude, it, it, it triggers a positive response for me. It 
even when I'm feeling down or I'm feeling overwhelmed or I'm stressed out, I'm anxious, there's stuff going on. If I can just return back to a place of gratitude, it helps trigger those positive emotional responses that I need to carry me through to sort of like limp me through the harder times. So I would say that having a gratitude list or practicing gratitude um, profoundly impacts my life for the better. Um, it I've written some notes down here. It it really disconnects us from um, negative and toxic feelings. So it's again, it's one of those places that if you can return to it and that's, it's like presence, right? It's like being present, running away with like all the things you've got to do that day, all the things you've got to do that week. And you know, you're very long to do list, like returning back to the place, place of presence. It's the same with gratitude running away with like all the things that went wrong, all the things you don't have, or all the like ways other people in your life are what you think they're having an easier time or, you know, they're really killing it at work and you're in a state of comparison. Just observing that your mind's going there and returning back to a place of gratitude. Um, that high vibrating frequency, which I always say is it's obviously an easier place to sit in, but um, it also helps to bring in more of that positive vibe. Like it, it's it's funny how it works. It really does. Like like attracts like. It is so. Um, I find that when I'm sitting in a really positive place and I allow myself to dip into negative emotions, but then return back. I see that it affects the people around me. I see it affects how my children are and how my husband is and how I am in, in a conversation with my friend who's really going through something. Uh, so it's a simple thing. And sometimes it can feel hard because there's a lot going on around us. But if we can remind ourselves, get out that journal, write the things that we are grateful for. It's just also another way to trigger like just the memory of, oh, wow, I do have a lot. I do have so much. Like, Look at where I've come. Look at the things that I've achieved in my life, the experiences I've had, the experiences I'm currently having. Um, I think it, it helps to give us the perspective that we need to keep putting one foot in front of the other, especially when times are tough. Um, so according to science, uh, being grateful, it gives you increased happiness, more satisfaction with life, makes you less materialistic, always a good thing, um, less likely to experience burnout, better physical health, better sleep, which is so needed in my household, um, less fatigue, lower levels of cellular inflammation, greater resiliency, encourages the development of patience, humility, and wisdom. Look, I think that's absolutely beautiful. Um, I find that you may not notice the benefits from a, a daily ritual day to day, but the cognitive effect, if you are doing it for an extended period of time, after a month, maybe even after a couple of weeks, you'll start to feel the lift. You'll start to feel that you're letting the gratitude lead you and you're welcoming more of it and you're welcoming a more positive living situation. Um, it is, it's a beautiful experience and um, yeah, I just think that gratitude is really where it's at. And so many of my favorite spiritual teachers always talk about how it starts with gratitude. So um, that's it for me today. I would love to hear what your gratitude practices are. And once again, thank you from the bottom of all of our hearts. We love you. Keep going. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.